These are acid drinks. We, we got to get away from acids. Part of the problem, not part of the solution. So you look at hydrochloric acid in the stomach, 1.8 to 2 roughly, 2 pH, 10 times hotter roughly, let's say, than Coke. Pretty hot. Break down proteins, you know, break down, a, break down your skin, in other words. Put a little hydrochloric acid, erratic acid somewhere in that same level. How about battery acid? We know battery acid would never put on the skin. That, that would that, that burn that skin right off, right? Because that is a pH of 1. So battery acid, pretty, pretty friggin' hot, right? 10 times hotter than chlor hydrochloric acid and 100 times hotter than a Coke. So imagine something 100 times hotter or more acidic than a Coke. Pretty hot stuff. Now, chemotherapy. Chemotherapy has a pH basically 1.5 to 2, maybe 2.2. Uh, the earlier chemos were closer to battery acid. The newer ones a little more uh, less acidic, shall we say, but still right there with hydrochloric acid or a little hotter. I say somewhere between 10 and 50 times hotter than the three pH acids that are damaging the cell. So let me see if I've got this right. Your cellular wastes are acids. They're roughly around 3 pH. When these acids can't be eliminated out of the cell anymore because of lymph stagnation, you have intracellular acidosis. These 3 pH acids is what creates an atypical or a cancer cell. We're going to treat that problem with an acid that's 10 to 50 times hotter because, because, because um, well, I can't come up with a reason. Well, let's see. We're certainly going to put it in the blood. Well, wait a minute. The blood can't be acidic because then you have to steal calcium. I had a hospital administrator at one of my classes one day, and he said, I know a statistic you don't, I bet. And I said, what's that? And he said, do you know how many people die of aortic aneurysms from the use of chemo being poured through a subclavian port right into the aorta? I said, you know, I never even thought about it. I had a lady come in one day, severe parathyroid weakness, bruising easy all over the place and varicose veins, and she said, they won't give me a chemo. I said, that was a smart, that was one of the first smart uh, oncologists I've ever heard of, because giving her chemo would have just caused an aneurysm all over the place, killed her right off. Now, they better wait and take someone, kill them within a five-year period. I mean, I've never heard of anything more insane than using cancer-causing treatments. Radiation and chemo are one of the top cancer-causing treatments. Why would you use a cancer-causing treatment to treat cancer? To treat a damaged cell from acid? Forget the word cancer. That's their, that's their crap department they use to get money from you. This is a damaged cell by acids. Do you, you're going to take a hotter acid, 10 or 50 times hotter to... To, to kill it? Well, whatever affects one cell affects all cells. Thank you very much for that. So what's going to happen? You damage a lot more cells, and anywhere you have cells already being broken down by acids, that's your next hot spot. It already is a hot spot. That becomes your next cancer. Cancer doesn't get up and move on you. Are they smoking something in the back room? You can't take a cell, pluck it out of the liver, carry it to the brain and make your brain cells cancerous because a liver cell is cancerous, got damaged by an acid. What are they, these guys are insane. You can't do some of these things. This whole thing, that's just how they control and manipulate you. They control and manipulate you through fear. If you fear anything, you fear an acid and what you have to do to get rid of it. So understand the lymph system. Understand that fruits and berries and melons are the best foods for lymphatic congestion. Whether you got sinuses, you got tumors, it doesn't matter what you got, it's all lymphatics. Interstitial fluid, tumors are interstitial fluid, cysts are interstitial fluid. Not moving anywhere very fast. And these tumors will break up as the body isolates this acid mix. The body will open up and when the pathways open, your body is the smart one. We're the ones that clogged our bodies, acidified our bodies, and broke down our bowels and our kidneys, clogged our lymph systems with all this crap milk, and now we have serious lymphatic problems, and you're not going to get rid of them in two weeks. You got to, you know, getting, moving that lymph from head to toe is miles long. You got some work ahead of you. 
But the good news is, there isn't anything your body can't regenerate. We can regenerate anything from brain cells to toe cells. So it's really cool to get on the health side of this. You lose that, that medical disease dark side that they're totally lost in the woods somewhere. Someday maybe they'll find their way back. But you have to take care of your body and your health. And if you must knowledge up, please, and then you'll be okay. You'll protect yourself, your loved ones, your family, and they won't fall to this, this huge machine that's killing people. And no judge, nobody's looking or taking or, 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 or understanding this and, and, and putting them to task, charging them with manslaughter. No, it's okay. We can kill people. Is it okay? to kill 90% of the people you're, you're using your therapy on. Someday you'll wake up to the real stats of the death rate from the use of chemo and radiation and your mouth will fall open and you'll break your jaw when it hits your desk. It is unbelievable and I've said this before on videos and look at how many movie stars you know of that got cancer and is 90% of them or more still alive and doing well with no cancer? 99% of them are dead unless someone started using natural therapies to help them stay alive. So it's, you know, you find out, you figure that out. But all I can tell you is understand that great lymphatic system of the human body and you're miles ahead of any other practitioner that doesn't understand that system. The system of all the pain, the swelling, the system of all the cancers. So understand that gigantic lymph system. I hope this video helped you with that. Uh, maybe I'll add to this and we'll keep adding on the back of these videos and we can get a little more involved in that. But keep it simple. Your life will be healthy and well. So always keep things simple. Understand that all your answers are already supplied for you. And God gave them to you. Nature offers all of them. Get yourself healthy. Focus on health. Lose the concept of diseases and you'll be so glad you did. So thank you so much for viewing this video and any of our other ones. Thank you and may the blessings be to every one of you and get yourselves healthy and well. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.